Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea and today I have an update for the Office Project Pan. This is a project that was started by Mona on Instagram. Her Instagram name is Mona underscore chromatics and every month she adds about six new prompts to her Google Doc for the American version of the Office. She takes a quote from every episode and creates a prompt for it. I don't know where she's at in her list. I haven't looked at it in a while because I am still way, way at the bottom because this is a project where there's no beginning date. You can start it whenever and there's no end date because she hasn't even come close to getting to the last season of the show. So I kind of put this on the back burner a little bit and I don't update. I mean, I don't update anything super consistently, but this one it's more whenever I have some progress, I try to update, but otherwise I'm not going to update every month because I'm not like steadily working on this stuff. It's just more of a chill, fun, laid back project for me. So that being said, I actually do have two prompts that I can roll out today. So finally, yay. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. The first one I'm working on still, I'm still working on three of the six episodes from season one. So there's that. The first one is from season one, episode three, Healthcare. Genius Dento Hydroplosion. Something with a ridiculous name or claim. And I have this Scofflaw polish in the shade Ugly Renaissance Baby Paintings. This is what I have on today. It's, the flecks are kind of hard to see, but it's just like a really nice beigey, cream polish and it's got some like coppery shimmer and a little little flakes in it but my goal was five times this is my fifth use so I can finally roll this out this is a really pretty shade and of course I just kind of like rolled it around but after five uses I'm already down to about here which is not a ton of use but not bad but this is going back upstairs in my nail polish collection so that one is finished then season one, episode four, The Alliance. Do you want to form an alliance with me? Absolutely, I do. A duo or two products that go with each other. I have this Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo. This is in the shade Spice Cinnamon. I have it on today. I have a 10 use goal and today is my second use and this has been in for a long time. So... This is what it looks like. Just two uses. Still got eight more to go. I'm just, I'm working on a lot of blushes, a lot of blushes and palettes. So I try to like rotate through things and then things still get lost in the shuffle. So it is what it is. It's going to be in for a while. Then the other prompt that I can roll out is for season one, episode five, basketball. You can learn lessons about life even if you don't win. Something you haven't been successful with before. And I have my Oma Beauty Double Take Contour Stick. I panned this in That's Expensive 2021. And I, on the contour, I didn't even get anywhere close. Like, look at how much is left. That's two years of panning, people. So I brought both sides in, but my goal was just to finish the highlighter stick. And I'm not digging. I don't want to dig. But I don't know if you can tell that is the plastic. So it kind of looks like there's product sticking up, but that's the plastic. It is flat. I've even used it a couple more times with my finger to like really make sure that it was all like there was no dome left. But that is done. I'm calling that highlighter portion done. That contour stick will take me till the end of time. But over the course of this project, and bear in mind, when I rolled this in, I had, I'm going to be conservative and say like 250 uses. I think it was more than that, but I had 250 uses on both sides. I have used, I have used the contour side 126 more times in this project. And I have, well, and I've used the highlighter stick 126 more times in this project. 
And the highlighter has one less gram of product than the contour. So that is close to 400 uses just to get that highlighter out. And I still have a ton of that contour left. Like, holy Jesus. This is never going to leave my collection. But it is no longer in this project. Yay! The rest of it is not as exciting. Sorry. Then for season two, sexual harassment. That's what she said. <laughs> something this joke applies to. And I have an eyeshadow from Luxy Beauty in the shade. That's what she said. And my goal is to hit pan. I am really close. I probably have like two uses left before I hit pan. But I have used this a total of 16 times. I have it on today. It's on the outer portion. I probably, I didn't realize that this, the shadow on the inner half was going to be like, so like, bam. So I should have put that on the outer portion and put this on the inner. It doesn't really matter though. They kind of look the same, but I've got a really, really good dip going in here. So I hope that I will have pan on this one fairly soon. Then for performance review season two episode eight today is thursday but dwight thinks that it's friday and that's what i'll be working on this afternoon something that deceived you i have it upstairs in my shower i forgot to bring it down i don't care it's it's my raw sugar scalp mask <clears throat> i thought it was a scrub it's not it's a mask so i want to finish it i have 21 uses on it I don't use it super often because it really, I don't think it does anything, but I want to like use it up. So it's hopefully like two more months and that one will beat out. Then for season two, episode nine, it's email surveillance. I've got three cases of imported beer, karaoke machine, and I didn't invite Michael. So three ingredients for a great party. Your go-to party item. And that's anything special and glittery and shiny. So I have from Enchanted Luster Cosmetics, this is their Dragon Prism 1. And I want to use each one of these one time, so no pan left behind. Today I'm wearing this middle one. It's Electric Prism. That's what is all over. And you can't tell because I'm too far away, but there was quite a bit of fallout. So like I've got a lot of little specks under my eyes. I don't care that much though. So... I have used four shades in the palette so far. I've used, let me make sure I'm doing this one. Okay. I've used these four. So like the pinky, purpley, red ones are the ones I have to do next. I need, I really need to get more use on this palette in general. It's starting to like smell a little funky. Like nothing to where I wouldn't feel comfortable putting it on my eyes, but it's definitely getting old because this is, this is an indie brand and you know, it's not a commercial product. So I feel like it has the potential to go off a little bit quicker. So I need to, I need to really use it. And then the last prompt I was working on was for season two, episode 10, Christmas party. Yankee swap is like Machiavelli meets Christmas. Something with two aesthetics in one. So I picked this Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Eyeshadow because it has a matte eyeshadow and a like metallic shimmery eyeshadow. And I want to use it five times and that each use means I use both sides. I've used it twice. I do have it on today. I have the matte side is called Room Service. I have that. I tried something. It didn't like work the best. I put it all in my crease and then I tried to buff it out with a brush. It, mm, not, not the best. Not the worst, but not the best. And then the metallic side, do not disturb. It's really hard to see, but I put it on my... I had, that's what she said, all over my lower lash line and then I brought it up into my inner corner and then I topped... I put the room... I put do not disturb on top, so I don't know. It's really hard to see, but it's there, so that's my second use. So I... Finished two prompts, finally, so that means I can roll two more in. The next episode from season two is episode 11, Booze Cruise. And the quote is, leadership. 
something with a nautical marine reference. I am working on too many eyeshadows, too many everything. So I'm like, I'm working on a lot of nail polish, yes, but I do want to use my collection more. So I went through and I found five polishes that have nautical water themed names and I'm going to use each one of them once. So the first one is something, actually I didn't even realize the name of the brand is also a nautical theme. I've worn this before in a project, I think for Child of the 80s, but this is from Great Lakes Lacquer and it is the shade Kitsch Itty Kippy, which is a spring here in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. This is from the May 2022 polish pickup, but this is what it looks like. I don't have swatches of any of these because I just don't. The next one is a really old KB shimmer polish called Shipwreck. And it's like a dark blue jelly with big glitters. I haven't worn it in a long time, so we're going to see if I want to keep it. This next one is from Ulta 3, which is an Australian brand. I actually got sent this in friend mail from Anna uh, at Maximalism Rehab. I will link her channel down below, but she hasn't posted it in a really long time. So this one is called Mermaid Blue. It's a very like kind of a more of a slate blue, but it looks pretty. Then I have from Cuticula Nail Lacquer. This is called Against the Tide. And this is from the February 2022 polish pickup. I've never worn this one, but it looks, I mean, these are all like bluey green polishes, which isn't really surprising given the theme. And then the last one is also from February 2022 polish pickup. This is from Fair Maiden Lacquer or Fair Maiden Nail Polish. It just says Fair Maiden. And it's down by the creek. It's a Dawson's Creek inspired nail polish. I bought this not because I ever watched Dawson's Creek, but I liked the color. So when I wear stuff like this for projects, I tend to take pictures of my Manny because like it just, the shade really doesn't come across. Like you can't see you see green, but there's blue. It's a duochrome polish. And a lot of these polishes from Polish Pickup, so the indie brands, they have shifts and stuff that it's just really hard to capture on camera in the bottle. So I like to take pictures. So whenever I update, if I've used any of these, I will have a picture to insert to show you. And then the next prompt I'm bringing in is from season two, episode 12, The Injury. By the way, my favorite Office episode. I, I just love this one. It's so hilarious. And the quote is, I want to clamp Michael's face in a George Foreman grill. Something that warms up your face. I'm working on a lot of blushes. I'm working on a lot of bronzers. And I have a decent amount. I have a few cream blushes that I'm working on, but I decided to that was probably the best option for me at this point is to bring in a liquid blush. So I have this CoverGirl Clean Fresh All Over Dewy Tint for Eyes, Lips, and Cheeks. I'm not going to be using this on my eyes, FYI. This is in the shade Fuchsia Passion. I just swatched it for the first time. It's still, it's very watery. So, I mean, I guess it's supposed to be like that, but that is the shade and then... Like tapped out is quite, quite nice. So my goal is going to be 10 uses for that one. So that is it for this update. I know these are very sporadic and kind of all over the place, but that's just how my channel is. And if you've been here long enough, you already know that. So <laughs> I don't need to explain it to you. So that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed. I will have Mona linked down below and I don't remember if I have the Google Doc linked down below but I'll have Mona linked down below the link to the Google Doc is on her IG like page is it I don't know like her info section whatever I'm old and I don't understand technologies <laughs> so and I will also have Steph from Still Steph linked down below because she is also doing this on YouTube she's much more consistent than I am with uploading so you might want to check her out 
if you don't like waiting three to four months between updates. But I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. You're staying safe and sane and healthy, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!